You remember we talked about Capture One for iPad a couple I weeks do, ago indeed. already. This was this was a while ago, actually, maybe even a month or two. We yeah, talked about I think the beta. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the app actually came out, uh, I think, this week. Okay. And I tried it as soon as I possibly could because yeah. I'm like, oh, my God, I need to get on this right away f- for the weekend yeah. so we can talk about it. Yeah. <sighs> Little bit of a disappointment. Let me just, before I get into disappointing stuff, let me go through what the app actually is. Okay. So there's a small monthly fee that you have to pay for it. I think we probably expected that. Yeah. It's $6 Canadian once a month. It might also be because I don't have Capture One for the desktop. Right. Yeah, right. I was going to say, I'd hope I wouldn't because I paid for like the the lifetime membership. Yeah. So I would hope that if I want to use it, I can without having to pay. Yeah. So you would have to test that out yourself. Yeah. For me, it's $6 a month with a free one week trial. Gotcha. So that's what I'm using right now. I'm, gonna, yeah. I'm about to cancel it as soon as I get home. Yeah. <laughs> um, so this app is basically like Lightroom Creative Cloud for the iPad. Mm. Gotcha. You can import all your photos onto your iPad, quick edits. Um, what else? You can rate and color stamp them like, yep. you know, like yep. you can in Capture One. Um gives you some basic adjustments like white balance, exposure, highlights, shadows, saturation, etc. Additionally, you can add your saved presets from desktop, from your Capture One account, and use them as well. You can cool. also do rotation, cropping, keystoning within the app. Image previews are sharp, and the colors look amazing on my iPad. Might differ depending on right. what iPad you have. Right, right. Um, you can also export just like you can in Lightroom, you've got some decent export settings. Yeah. You have, uh, you can give, of course, the file a custom name. You can choose export as JPEG, an EIP, which it, for Capture One is basically like a raw file with the adjustments you did. Right. And that's it. You get actually just those two. If you choose JPEG, you can choose resolution between three different sizes. You get full res. Web optimized, which is 1365 by 2048. Okay. And then Instagram optimized. It's funny that they actually give you that option. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's 1080 by 1620, which is weird because you can do 1080 by 1920 for reels. So if you're doing a reel, you can do that. Yeah. I didn't they change the whole like photo? Not the actual yet. Photo sh- on I'm, mine, it was. I actually, because I, want, I wanted to bring that up as well. Oh. But. I mean, I didn't. I, I didn't yeah. see the option because I swear I just did some posts, and I tried like a little bit of a taller photo, and yeah. it didn't let me. Yeah, I don't know. I was I didn't try posting, but I got photos that were taking up my whole screen. Uh huh. I didn't know how I felt about it. It was kind of weird. Yeah, I like it because the more of the screen you take up, the more attention yeah. you get. So yeah, I mean, it's that's, true. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> um, you can also do a watermark. Okay. As you export, nice. you can choose like the opacity and it just puts like your custom text in the middle right. of the, the, the photo. Um, you also have the option to fully connect your Capture One account onto the, to the cloud. It has a bit of storage, I think 100 gigs mm. uh, from okay. what I saw. Bad. Um, you can pretty much pick up where you left off on desktop. I couldn't test that, obviously, because yeah. I don't have the desktop app. I'm not ready to pay like 100 whatever yeah. for it. And my free trial is probably gone anyway so yeah all right so we're at the bit where i'm going to compare this to lightroom cc because this is probably the only other ipad app for photo editing that i know of yeah i don't know of any many more especially in like the professional space right there are more though and you want us to check it out let us know in the comments yes so maybe we can review it yeah i mean like there's the photoshop but it's okay from what I've used, like yeah. having used it in a lot of the, um, situations, but there's like three not. different versions of the Photoshop thing. I looked into this right before because I wanted to see if there were more apps. Right. Some of them are only available on I- iPhone, which ah. sucks because okay. one of them is like the the cl- good clone stamping one. Oh. And that one's not available on iPad. That's. Interesting. And I don't really like how Lightroom does the yeah. stamping. Um, yeah, yeah. 
Me neither. So you don't really have too many options. All right. Yeah. So we're going to compare this to, to Lightroom. Okay, let's do it. I personally like how Lightroom is set up a little bit more. I like that it has sliders because mm -hmm. you can go like zero to 100 really quick and yeah. you can see what differences you're making, right? Yeah. In Capture One, they give you a little wheel, like a half wheel, and you have to like swipe up and down and you have that to like keep weird. doing it to go all the way to 100 and keep going back. That I don't like that at all. I yeah, I'd have to agree with you on that. Because some of them, some of the adjustments I was making, I was I kept turning it. And I'm like, is, is it, it really doing something? Like yeah. I had to really go at like a yeah. ton of times. Yeah, because sometimes you have to see it like yeah. at a very high number, and then it's like okay, and then go down you can from see there. What it's yeah. doing exactly, and then yeah, you yeah. can hone it in. So I like I like Lightroom for that. Yeah, um, especially because it's a lot like the desktop version, right? right? So if you're familiar with the desktop version, it's not that far off for the iPad one. Yeah. Sure, there's a couple differences, but it's not major. Yeah. Where it is pretty major of a difference from Capture One on desktop to iPad. Right. Which I don't yeah. I don't like that. Also, Lightroom has a lot more export settings, even with the iPad. Right. You can choose original file which is whatever your camera shoots right. in it. It'll save it as, for example, for us, it's a .CR3. Uh, you can choose JPEG, TIFF, or DNG. That's four options. Capture One only had two. Yeah. Um, each has their own export settings, which include, you can do uh, sharpening on export. Color space. Beauty. Right? Uh, image quality and dimensions. So Lightroom has all these options. Yeah, yeah. You'd think they would include that unless that's going to be something that they're probably adding in the future Later. i'd imagine yeah yeah so that was very surprising to me that yeah. that lightroom had that better yeah um so some negatives one major thing i noticed is that their promised tethered shooting yeah not included man and i i had to like triple check i went onto the website the one specifically for capture one for ipad right i didn't see it anywhere and That's I remember so we looked right at the email for the beta. Yeah. And it 100% said tethered. Yeah, because that was shooting. like a big thing that we were like yeah. kind of excited about and looking yeah. forward to on, you know, Pull it having back that up. on. Yeah. Show the clip. <laughs> I got an email from mm -hmm. Capture One a couple of weeks ago at this point. Mm -hmm. And it was about getting um, Capture One on iPad. Yeah. Some of the features they're looking to include is tethered shooting directly into Capture One. Yeah, I know we even got a few comments. I remember that yeah. like other people being excited about that, but that's kind of uh, not great. Yeah, I tested it. I plugged my camera in through the USB cable. Yeah. And it just showed up as like a storage device, which that's not Dang. tethered. Um, let me see what else do I got. Yeah, the original email said that, and it might be coming soon, but I didn't see it anywhere on the website mentioned anywhere. Right. Hopefully, hopefully. Um, additionally, <sighs> I would mention the adjustments and how they are different from Lightroom sliders for, yeah. So again, the sliders simply better, faster for, for, for Lightroom. And masking capabilities. They also mentioned this in the email that you uh -huh. can do create masks. Yeah. You can't. Ah. Two things are missing from, from that beta email that they I sent out. I don't know out. why they would send that out yeah. and then not follow through. If anything, don't mention it and then include it. Yeah. Rather than include that in the email, get our hopes up, Yeah. and then it lets us down. So again, I don't know what happened in the beta. We yeah. didn't, I did, I completely forgot about it because this was right around when I went to Alberta. Yeah. Uh, so we didn't get access to the beta. So we don't know what happened there. If it was maybe too much for the iPad. Maybe, yeah. To handle. But like, I find that really hard to, to, to believe. To believe. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Because Lightroom can do so much now. Photoshop, although it's slow, can, yeah. is slowly starting to do more and more. Yeah. I mean, maybe they just need uh, some more time. I know with like the initial Photoshop app, 
it was Garbage. not yeah, yeah not great <laughs> and it's improved a lot from there yeah. so hopefully that's what what's going to be the case with this yeah I, I really hope yeah um what else what do we got so overall it's a good app what can i say i mean it's still a good spot if you use capture one fully yeah. and you have an ipad i would get it try it out um see how you like it because it is a pretty good benefit to just pick up pick up and go and yeah pretty yeah. much start where you left off uh on desktop but I got to say, Adobe has pretty much nailed it with the Lightroom app. It's I used it for the whole trip. Every day I was editing photos on Lightroom on my iPad mm. and it just handled it. Yeah. Just like I would on desktop. So right now, Lightroom has the upper hand. Yeah. Hopefully. Lightroom we, one, we, capture yeah. one, zero. We'll see. Well, maybe we'll have to come back in a year, maybe Hopefully. a couple Hopefully. months. Hopefully. I, I would yeah I hope I hope so because I want to I want to have tethered shooting on iPad yeah. even though like yeah it's not like essential because I have the laptop I can do it on the laptop or even if you wanted to do it on desktop I mean my desktop's not set up down here but it's just nice to have that because yeah. then you can have a bigger screen that's super compact and just like nice to nice and easy to carry with you yeah I don't know. We'll see. We'll see.